Hi there, friends. Going to talk about Pope Francis today, the man who claims to be representing the Lord Jesus Christ, who said he is the only way to God and no one comes to the Father except through him, Jesus. But this Pope, who is said to represent Jesus, says quite differently that there are many ways to God. Even the Muslims, who claim God has no son, are all worshipping the same God. And even if you are an atheist, according to Pope Francis, if you do good works, you will still get into heaven, even though you don't believe there is a God or a Jesus or a heaven. You will still get there. Yep, this is the Pope who signed the Declaration on Human Fraternity between himself and other religions. And indeed he is among the chief instigators for the building of the Abrahamic family house in Abu Dhabi, where you have a place for Christians, for Muslims and for Jews, all to worship the same God, he says. He's even a friend of Klaus Schwab, who wants a world government, and so does Pope Francis. Well, now this false teacher, this false leader, has taken on the role of an end times prophet because he has issued warnings as he sees omens of global destruction as reported in the New York Times and the Daily Mail of London. So let's just see what this prophet has to say to us. Because according to Deuteronomy, even some false prophets can tell you the truth regarding what is to come. But in their teaching, they lead you away from God. Those are the ones you must really avoid. People like clairvoyants, stargazers, whatever, who are being led by demonic spirits to foresee the future. And that is very dangerous in these days. And this man believes he is seeing omens of destruction. Do not trust him. Even if what he says comes true, his gospel is totally false. According to the report, Pope Francis painted a grim picture of the future during a mass at the Vatican on Sunday, warning he sees greater omens of greater destruction and desolation in the world. The 85-year-old pontiff shared his dark vision for humanity during a Mass ahead of Monday's holiday celebrating the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the patron of Mexico. Despite how seemingly bad things are, the Pope said his vision for the future appears with greater omens of greater destruction and desolation. Friends, I leave this with you. Could it possibly be? And I'm not saying it is, but could this possibly be that Pope Francis is setting himself up to be the false prophet of the book of Revelation. Remembering, of course, that next year, one week after Passover, we have the asteroid 2005 ED224, which is due to make a very close bypass of the Earth. That is very interesting. But then we also have, seven years later, the asteroid Apophis, which is due to come very, very close to Earth, even beneath Earth's satellites, I'm told, on the 13th of April, 2029. Another interesting thing, of course, friends, and I'm sure you've noticed, is that these two asteroids are seven years apart. I leave that to you. Is this what Pope Francis is speaking about? Is Pope Francis predicting these two asteroids that are going to come? And as such, will he then set himself up as the false prophet, having predicted these things to come? He's 85 years old. Will he last another seven years? We don't know. Is he the false prophet? We don't know. But it's very, very interesting that with these two asteroids coming seven years apart, this Pope, head of a false religion, is putting himself forward very possibly as the Elijah figure, the false prophet, who will in fact call fire down from heaven. Are we talking about the asteroids? I don't know. Or is this just a, a show that he's going to put on, on the Temple Mount, who will herald the coming of the Antichrist. You remember, 
Elijah called down fire from heaven? Are we due another global crisis in which a false prophet who pretends to be Elijah will in fact call down fire from heaven? Or is he pointing to these asteroids as fire from heaven? And then will he point to a global figure, a man of great stature, the Antichrist, and herald him as Earth's saviour? These are interesting days, folks, and I'm so glad that you're there with me looking at these days because these are days that are unprecedented in world history. The world is pushing for a world government and a monetary system. The Pope is pushing for a one-world religion. These are the days the prophets spoke of of old, and you are living through them, my friends, right now. So please remember this advice. Take shelter beneath the wings of the Almighty because he really is your only hope of protection. Keep your eyes on Jesus and keep your hope in him. And please remember to share, like and subscribe to this channel. I want to thank you so much for watching and may the God of Israel watch over you because all of these events are signs that shout out to us. Guess what? The Messiah is on his way back. God bless you.